180. That's a pretty big number. In fact, it's the number of credits that you require to, uh, to take to graduate from Portland State University. According to the 2006-2007 PSU Fulton Catalog. And of those credits, 45 of them must be completed through the University Studies Program. Now, this is a big chunk of our, of our education. And I know we hate it, but the unfortunate problem is that these, credit, these classes only count as elective credits. Now, wouldn't it be nice if they could be used towards another minor? I think so. So my speech today will cover the problem with university study courses and what you can do to benefit from this program. So I'll cover a brief, brief overview of the university studies program, what will happen if you strategically plan your junior cluster courses, and what you need to do now. By now, you guys should know a little bit about the program. You're all part of it. The main disadvantage with the University Studies program is that they don't count towards a specific degree. And these credits, if you transfer out, are considered elective credits towards a general education. When interviewing Becky Ingersoll, a new last advisor, I asked her if students knew how to strategically plan their courses. She said that in general, most students know, didn't know that they could. So if you were to map out your junior cluster courses, you are essentially killing two birds with one stone. Benefits of strategically planning your courses include earning an additional minor, combining classes to satisfy the degree requirements such as a Bachelor's of Arts or Science and your university studies requirements, and you can gain more out of your education, such as more experience through your classes and the cohesiveness of your courses, so they will actually uh, interrelate. Now, some disadvantages if you miss this opportunity, you may run into uh, you may have to take more classes to fulfill requirements, and you may run into additional problems with university studies, such as the classes you take for your junior cluster may not count for, or that you take for a major may not count towards your junior cluster. And if you are thinking about transferring out, these classes won't count for anything in general, um, for the most part, other than elective credits. So there are specific steps that need to be done in order to, to strategically plan your classes. These include making a plan. Use your prerequisite courses for programs such as if you were to go into the School of Business, use those programs towards another minor, or use your junior cluster courses towards another minor. For example, Crystal, like I mentioned before, she can use this class, Speech 220, a prerequisite for the School of Business, and her junior cluster courses and her senior capstone all towards the communications minor. Now secondly, get some help. I know this is a lot of information, but visit a US advisor. And go to departmental advisor. Now, you guys were a little confused about what, it, what a DARS report is. It actually stands for Degree Audit Reporting System. This is really helpful. This is what you should do. Um, it, will, it will give you a list of courses towards a degree that you're looking for, and it will actually suggest what classes I need to take. So, this right here is just the first page of mine. And it goes on for several pages, but just to give you a little uh, view of what it looks like. Now, also do your work. Read the book. There's a PSU bulletin, which is also located in the library and also in the uh, PSU bookstore. The schedule of, cat of classes catalog. Um, both of those have information where you can find all this, and this is what you need to do is you need to do your research. Now, in, this, in the PSU bulletin, here it shows if you look at it, it shows the requirements of a major. And this is what I would have to pay attention to, is to make sure the classes I take for my junior classes don't match up with what's required in my major. Now also, like Crystal was looking towards a communications minor, she would have to make sure that her classes that she takes for a junior cluster match up with the requirements right over here. And by looking at that, it's basically just looking at the requirements for the minor, and also the requirements for a junior cluster, such as pop culture right here. Anyway, I know you can't see it, but um, I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like from the book, so you guys can look at that later. So today, I showed you, or in my last speech, I showed you how, or how to strategically plan your courses, and today I reminded you about the problems with university studies, what can happen if you strategically plan your classes, and what you should do now. 
So as students of Florida State University and those that, who, that hate the University Studies program, take part in what we're required to participate in, but use those credits towards another focus. Use them towards a minor. Make the right choice, make the easy choice. And while you're at it, kill two birds with one stone.